Hi guys, it's HCG Shell. Um, if I have to make this video again, I'm going to shoot something. Whether it be the camera or something, I don't know. But this is the third time that I've been trying to make this video and the freaking phone won't record. So, if it isn't recording now, y'all are just going to get a picture of me strangling something. Um, anyhow, and the phone's crooked, so hold on. Because I ain't recording it again, so now it's crooked the other way. I'm just crooked. My head, here. Here. Does that help? Okay. Um, I've been very sick. That's why you guys haven't seen me. Last Friday, I got very, very sick. Um, I had Tom coming anyways, um, which always makes me pretty sick. Um, so at first, I just thought it was that. And then I thought I was getting the flu because I was getting really sick. And then TMI, TMI alert, close your ears if you don't want to be grossed out. Um, what I think it was, I don't think it was the flu, I think I had a uterine cyst that um, burst and made me very, very sick. Um, and it took me quite a few days to get over. I didn't eat for three days, passed out. It was terrible. Um, but I am finally starting to feel better. Um, not 100% yet, but I'm a lot better than I was. So... Um, that's where I've been. I've been at sick, sick at home, and my house is destroyed because no one knows how to pick anything up without me, you know, beating them with brooms and crying. So um, that's what I'm planning on doing this weekend is cleaning the house and getting everything back in order. Um, I am now in P3, for those of you who don't know. Um, the advice I got from everybody was to go ahead and go into P3 and let my body heal um, from the sickness and stuff, going back into P2 with HCG and the lower calories and all that might be too hard on my body, so I did. And um, now that this, like I said, is the third time making my video, I have learned a little bit more. I was freaking out because I didn't really know what my LIW was because Friday was the last time I ate anything. I didn't eat Saturday, didn't eat Sunday, and I only had a couple bites of food on Monday. So I actually dropped Friday... I did not take my shot. I was at 302.8. I did not eat Saturday, did not eat Sunday, and I didn't take my shots or anything, of course. Um, and on Monday, I hit 298, and I was kind of excited, sick as I was, um, to be under three. But I didn't really want to count it because I thought, you know, it was because I haven't eaten in a day, so it wasn't a real, I figured once I started eating, it would go back up, and it has. I'm now, today, uh, at 302. So, I was freaking out, thinking, oh my god, I've gained four pounds. But, from my LIW, which I assume would be Friday, Thursday or Friday, my Thursday was my last shot, but I've kind of read two different ways. Some people say the last, the day of your last shot, or then a lot of people, I see, weigh the next day for the previous day's weight, so which was 302.8. So if that's the case, if, if Friday was my LIW, the day after I took my last shot, I really am um, down 0.8. So my bitching will have to come to a halt. Well, <laughs> it's not going to come to a halt. It'll just simmer down a bit. I mean, come on. That's what I do. That's who I am. But, um, so I don't know. The whole thing has me kind of confused and all that because like I said I didn't eat for so many days and didn't hardly drink and so my body I figure was kind of going into some shock you know not shock shock but it was kind of like what the hell um but anyhow so as long as I'm staying around there um I'll go ahead and finish out p3 um I plan on doing three weeks of p3 unless my husband who's still in p2 joins me in p3 um, and then I'll add another week on to it so we can load at the same time together. Um, I think it'll be hard if we don't load together. Um, but if he doesn't come into P3 in the next day or two, um, he's on his own. And let me tell you, I'm going to be making him no delicious food while I am back on P2. So he can suck it. And he's going to have to go and, I don't know, eat Krispy Kremes and burgers or something out of the house. But, um... So I plan on doing three weeks of P3 or four and then um, going back into P2. I'm not going to hit P4 this time 
And my reasoning behind that is that my body is still very new to this. I have a lot of weight to still lose. And I think my body can, um, can handle it. At least I hope so. So um, I know a lot of people have strong feelings whether you have to do the full six week um, break. And, you know, and a lot of people feel that a three week break is enough. Um, once I get further on in the, uh, my rounds, um, I will take a longer break. Um, I, I do understand the process behind it. It, you know, it gives your body time to reset and, and the hypothalamus and all those different things. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and see how it plays out this time. Um, I miss I miss P2. I, th I heard you people saying that. I heard people that were in P3 say, I miss P2. I can't wait to go back into it. And I thought, oh, you are a liar. You are nuts. Who wants to be back into P2 with this little bit of food and like five choices? I get it. Me, me, I want to go back into P2. I miss you, P2. But it's because it's so structured, you don't have to stress about anything. I haven't been able to eat very much. Um, it, like, I can't hardly eat any meat. I did buy an Atkins frozen meal that was a meatloaf meal, and I ate that and didn't, get, didn't feel too bad. I've been trying to eat salads. I made a salad with just a tiny bit of pecans and some cheese and tomatoes, and that was really, really good. Um, and then I got some protein, Atkins protein bars and shakes. Um, I can only eat cold things mostly, um, since the sickness, which is how I was when I was pregnant. A lot of the time I couldn't eat warm stuff, made me sick. Um, so I thought that would be kind of a transition, um, until I'm feeling all the way better. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm trying to do well. Um, P3 scares the living crap out of me. Uh, let's be honest. I feel like everything I look at, I'm gaining weight just looking at it. And I haven't, like, done anything. I haven't eaten bread or I haven't eaten a cake or whatever. But I'm just, I don't want to gain that weight back. I lost almost 30. I thought it was 30. And that's actually what I posted. Um, but that's from my lowest weight. So I'm, I'm almost to 30. But regardless, I don't want to gain it back. And I'm, I'm going to do really well. Um, so wish me luck. I'm going to try to keep you guys updated on um, P3 and a lot of people kind of hibernate during P3 to some extent. And I'll try not to do that um, if you guys want me. If you if you want me not to hibernate, I guess. You know, people are probably like, shut up. We haven't missed you in a week. Y'all miss me. Somebody miss me, right? <laughs> all right, guys. I hope you're all doing well. I love you. I can't tell you how much your comments and support means to me. I always hear people say that and let me tell you, I believe it. I believe it now because without you guys, I would have never ever made it this far. My husband is an amazing man. He has supported me and loved me and kept me from cheating when I wanted to cheat and you know, he's been amazing to this whole thing. Um, but you guys are right right there, right there with him. I don't know what I do. I was crying um, when I read the comments about when I posted my real weight and I had so many beautiful, beautiful comments. I'll, get, I'll cry again. It was just, it was one of the most humiliating things I've ever done. And not only did I not get um, sarcastic or making fun of me or any of those kind of comments, I got loving, open, gracious, beautiful comments from you all. And I was crying. I was, I was reading them. And my husband looked at me and said, Honey, I'm so glad you found these women. And I just thought, you know, even he can see it, how much you guys mean to me. So thank you all. Um, I hope any of you who are watching this, who are doing HCG and are not vlogging, man, jump on. Vlog. It has saved my life. I honestly believe this HCG is going to add years to my life. So, and you guys are the reason I can do it. So thank you all. I hope you all are doing well, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.